We continue with the second example. This is our second example. And we have another set of equations. And uh, we are going to work towards this format. And let's see what we get along the way. First, the augmented matrix. 1, 3, 8, 2, 3, minus 1, 4, 3, 1, 13, 28, and 5. Well, I already have a 1 in the top left-hand corner here. And so the next step is to create zeros and uh, this position and this position, which I can achieve by subtracting the first three times from the second and once from the third. So minus one. Let's uh, the first row stays the same, 1, 3, 8, 2, 3 minus 3 equals 0, minus 1, minus 9 is equal to minus 10, 4, uh, minus 24 is um, minus 20, and 3 minus 6 is equal to minus 3. Then we subtract the first row from the second, and we get 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. 13 minus 3 is equal to 10. 28 minus 8 is equal to 20. And 5 minus 8 is equal to 3. Now, we could continue and turn this into uh, this. By, um, uh, minus 10. However, I can see that the second row and the third row only differ by a factor of minus 1. Second row to the third row, 3, 8, 2, 0, 1, 10, 20, minus 3, and 0, 0, 0, 0. Which means we have infinitely many solutions. If we only have one row of zero, so the solution set will be a line. Um, well, and we can continue finding the solution. So the next step is I will divide the second row by minus 10 now. 1, 3, 8, 2, 0, 1, 2, uh, 3 divided by 10, and zeros here. Now, again, the um, the book simply stops here. It uses parameters, and what I'm I'm going to um, we have what's called a pivot point or pivot column here for the x and y position, but we don't have a one here, so we don't have a pivot for this column. Uh, what allows me to then the there are different solutions, but one uh, decision is that I don't have anything, any information for z. So I say z is equal to t, how the book does it. And I know that from the second row, y plus 2z is equal to 3 over 10. As we have chosen that z is equal to t, we can write y is minus 2t plus 3 over 10. So now we have our solution for y, and x plus 3y plus 8z is equal to 2. And we can fill all this in, and we find that x minus 6t plus 9 over 10, that's the 3y part, uh, plus 8t is equal to 2. Move everything to the other side. So Minus 6 plus 8 is 2t, which goes to the other side. x is equal to minus 2t plus 11 over 10. And here we have our solution set. And we see that if we were to write these things together, x, y, z, we have minus 2 times, uh, sorry, t times minus 2, minus 2, 1, plus 11 over 10, uh, 3 over 10, and 
zero, and we see that we have a line in 3D space. So this set of equations, we saw very quickly yields a, a row of zeros, so it has infinitely many solutions. I have expressions for x and y, but nothing for z. So in the book, writes z is equal to t, it's kind of a parameter. I just write z is equal to z, but we get the same solution here, which is a line in 3D space. So the second example uh, has infinitely many solutions.